honesty, I have educated myself so much since 2016, and I have a ways to go. My political views have changed immensely, and they're changing at a rapid pace. I will not vote for Joe Biden. I do not support anybody from the squad. I think they're totally full of shit. I think they're dangerous. I think they're race hustlers. I think they're cons. I think inevitably they want to get themselves uh, production deals to produce documentaries. I think they're, um, they're three-card Monty playing bullshit artists. I think they totally have an agenda. Um, I have said, you know, not to go down the rabbit hole, that at this point when we're doing this interview, voting for Trump is on the table. People are like, what are you talking about? That's my reality. That is my reality. I will not support anybody who's anti-Israel. I will not support anybody that is anti, uh, um, you know, making America safe. I'm not supporting anybody that is cool with the fact that it takes me two and a half hours to get back into America from Toronto uh, uh, at, at the, um, what the, what is it called? The passport at the... Um, passport control. The line to go from Toronto to New York, it takes me two and a half hours, as it should. But it takes you two minutes to cross the border. I'm not down with that shit. I'm not down with police officers in the greatest city on earth getting beaten up. And uh, uh, you're a legal immigrant. And then you have no bail. I'm not uh, down and with... And flipping off the camera. Flipping off the fucking camera like Chupac when he got arrested and he was coming out in the in the... In the red Detroit what Red Wings t-shirt. I'm not down with going into a Costco or a 7-Eleven or a Rite Aid as I videotaped once and went crazy viral, cleaning out the spot and walking like you're you're on a you know like a beautiful spring day walk. I'm not down with any of that shit. So any of these people that support it, I'm not I'm not voting for them.